Uh, firstly, what's your earliest sporting memory? Uh, playing wise or thinking wise? It'd probably be um, Alan Sunderland scoring the winning FA Cup final in 19. What was it? 80, I don't think. It gets made 93 to it was. It wasn't good memory, but I remember him scoring the winner. Uh, if you weren't a footballer, what career would you have gone into? Uh, I'd probably like to be a golfer. I think, you know, I love playing golf. Um, I think I'm quite decent at most sports, so I think whatever I put my hand to and practice it, I might have been decent at it. Uh, which manager of any era do you admire the most? Uh, John Long. Uh, what was your first car? Uh, XR2. Crashed it within 10 days going down the A127 to for Basildon. Nearly ripped it off. Devastated. Uh, what's on your iPod? I haven't got one. <laughs> That's true, I haven't got one. What's the best place you've ever visited? Mm, I mean, I've, I've been to a few nice places, but I think um, Sardinia in Calgary is a lovely place, a place called Forte Village, which is like a complex where you take your family. Uh, what do you sing at karaoke? Hmm, I'm the worst singer in the world, but if I was going to sing it, it would probably be Rapper's Delight. If you could have a dinner party with any three people, dead or alive, who would you pick? Um, JFK would be one of them, um, Tiger Woods, and uh, of course my wife, Claire. Had to get that in. <laughs> and so, just finally, what would you cook for them? Uh, no, I'd be takeaway. I'm not a good cook, so I'll have to be a McDonald's or a KFC. <laughs> <laughs> sure, JFK would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Got no choices in my house. It's my dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers.